I primarily print in ABS plastic, which as you can see is, uh, I got a bunch of it stacked up right here. There's a uh, lime green, that's a new roll of brilliant orange, I've got uh, some bone white, uh, some navy blue, uh, let's see. Some uh, light blue glow in the dark. It glows green in the dark. Um, that's a roll of black on my printer bot roll. Uh, I have some other plastic I use. I've got the, there's some dark green there. Just punch a hole in the bag and feed the plastic out through the hole in the bag. It just uh, it doesn't really kink when you do that. It really um, works really well, see? Uh, I made the mistake of pulling the red out. <laughs> yeah, now it's uh, a little difficult and unwieldy. Sometimes I have to play with it. Anyway, um, I keep the loose stuff down beside the bot. All right, there's printer bot. Um, it's printer bot plus. I've done uh, many modifications to the bot. Uh, it's not the same as uh, it originally was sent to me. Um, I have replaced the uh, belts on the bot. They are, these are, um, instead of the ones that they sent me, I think they were just neoprene. These belts are um, nylon and steel. They're reinforced with steel. Um, I use uh, belt tighteners. It's like a little U-shaped clamp wrapped around the belt that goes across a little bridge. I zip tied them together. It makes it nice and tight. It's kind of like a bass note, like a D note right there. Nice and tight. It uh, that's the key to a good prints. Uh, if you want your bot to handle well, there are some very important things. Number one is you have to make sure your belts and uh, all the uh, fasteners are tightened very tightly. You have to make sure that all the nuts and bolts are tightened tightly, not over tight, but you know tight that they don't work loose. You have to make sure you periodically check your zip ties and tighten them up so that you don't have any looseness there. You have to. Make sure that from time to time you put some uh, some uh, grease on the um, steel rods, both on the rods here and on the rods underneath for the uh, the print bed. Um, putting them on the uh, on the vertical rods as well is helpful. You also want to make sure you get some on the threaded rod because you don't you can actually wear down the steel here in the rod from just use. And so if you make sure you have some good uh, grease there, that helps. Um, the grease that I use is. As most rep wrap people use, it's white lithium grease. In this case, it's a uh, ultra lube uh, white lithium grease. It's uh, non toxic, so you know it's good stuff. That stuff there works. Use that. All right. So um, anyway, the bot's in here parked. I don't have it warmed up or anything. This is where I left last left it when I was uh, working earlier. Um, there's a couple important upgrades to the bot that I haven't mentioned yet. Uh, number one is you should rubberize the feet. Basically what I did was is I took the feet off and I dipped it, dipped those feet in uh, liquid tape. And liquid tape uh, rubberized the feet really well and made it so that the bot, when it prints, it doesn't move. It's pretty stable. The bot is, I can sit there and push on it and wants to stay in place. Um, I've also uh, uh, put on um, these bed risers, these uh, the spring-loaded uh, feet that's on the bed. I've uh, put in uh, instead of just the uh, the metal heating bed, I put on top of that a, a very thin mirror, and then on top of that a, a sheet of uh, glass, just a sheet of glass from uh, from Lowe's. It's eight and three eighths inches square. Um, I use uh, clips from the office to uh, hold the glass nice and tight against the heating element. It heats up pretty good. Don't have any heating issues. Um, it's always nice to have a good little tr you know, tray here to hold your stuff. You should have uh, you know, the uh, tweezers to get at stuff you know, when you're working. Um, when you want to film stuff, there's never enough light. <laughs> never enough light. I mean, I've got light up here. I'm trying to film, and sometimes like it's, uh, I feel like I'm fighting a battle here. Um, my work area is, of course, I'm in an apartment, and so my work area is confined. 
Um, I do like the fact that I have a bathroom right there that gives me the uh, emergency washing station, eye rinsing station, you know. Uh, the bathroom's awesome for having a nice little work area here. And also it has a great little uh, fan in there. It sucks out the air and puts it outside, um, which is really good because uh, I have some solutions on the way. But, you know, burning melting plastic isn't an enjoyable smell to penetrate your house. All right, so uh, looking on my desk here, uh, you can see a project I'm working on. Um, I'm taking this uh, Galaxy Note. Uh, what do they call it? It's with a Galaxy Note. This, uh, this uh, Bluetooth uh, keyboard uh, guy at work, uh, a friend of mine, Matt Mashuda, uh, gave me this. Uh, I'm going to actually turn this into a PC game controller. I'm going to make that with the 3D printer over there and this card. This is Bluetooth. It uh, actually charges up. It's got built-in lithium-ion battery charging. And it's a nice little Bluetooth uh, device. So basically all I have to do is make contact switches and, and above this put some wires that have like little nails that press against the little gold contacts and when I press the contact switch it gets me a connection. It's pretty simple uh, and it's pretty caveman-ish. I'll make it happen. Alright, so um, on my workbench, which I've cleaned up, most of you have noticed, uh, you're going to see some really cool stuff right here. These are giving, being given away. Um, I work for Massage Envy and um, they don't promote these videos, of course. This is my videos, but I work for them and part of what I get every month is they give me massages and these are built up massages that I haven't used or given away from the last uh, 24 months actually it's been a little bit longer than that so uh, I'm going to be giving uh, free massages these are you just take them to a massage envy and you know give them that and it, that'll cover their massage that's a that's a free massage right there you should tip your uh, massage therapist though give them a nice little tip you know show them you appreciate them Anyway, I'll be giving those out, uh, and I will be only giving these out to people who subscribe. If you do not subscribe, you will not be getting these. I might have been just, uh, and look, I got so many that most of the people on my list is actually going to get one. Um, my wife's on my list, so she already gets them, so she doesn't need one. But I'm going to give them to you guys and hook you up for watching. You know, you just need to make sure that you're a subscriber or you actually won't get picked to get one of these. Uh, and then uh, I'll just be giving one away every month from now on. Uh, okay, so up here, uh, this is my work area here. Uh, check it out. I've got uh, basically all my tools that I need right here in this little tray. I can pick it up, move it around on the table at will. Uh, it's got all the, the pliers that I need, the electric screwdriver and screwdrivers I need. It's got a backup caliper, uh, you know, like uh, in case I need to double measure something at the same time. Uh, my digital caliper, of course. Um, here's some... Uh, uh, some extruders uh, previous to the, the current new extruder, which uh, you've seen in uh, some of my recent videos. Um, this is uh, basically a, an ABS uh, Wade's tilted extruder right here. It came in. Uh, I like the gears on it, but I really didn't like this too well. It, it didn't deal well with the heat, but the wooden extruder deals awesome with the heat. I just, uh, they sent me this, and when I built it first, uh, I was a little kind of cavemanish about it. And <laughs> Got a little crazy, and uh, I made it work, but I called it the Franken extruder. Now I have a perfect extruder from PrinterBot. Um, if you can, try to build it exactly as they tell you, because if you do, it'll work out great. You won't have to fight it as much as I did. Um, you'll see here on my desk, uh, I also have uh, files for working on the, with the plastic. I've got, I'm making a Rostock Delta printer here. Uh, I really want to get one of those. I've already made one. Uh, most of the parts, uh, or actually all the parts for my friend, uh, Matt Mashuda at work. Um, so anyway, um, down here I've got uh, just different stuff that I might use. Uh, up here I put all these these crates on the shelf. I repurpose these little crates and, and now they pretty much hold everything I need. Um, over here is basically my my ABS station. This is where I melt down ABS to use as ABS glue. Um, anyway folks, so uh, that about covers uh, you know my work area. I hope you uh, like what I've shown you.